business card number 10 and going to the second phase or the the uh, concept that I received while I was in the sociology class in 1995 in the fall uh, at uh, UVSC. Uh, that particular concept, single page theory, is number nine. So I use the business card to get people's brain cells thinking of a new concept of life so that if they are interested they will contact me and um, uh, if they're not fine they can carry this new way of thinking with them uh, I will explain a little later what this business card was all, all, all about and so in this first in this part one we'll um, do phase number one two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven phases in this particular presentation. And in as much as we are starting from the bottom, we enter to learn to unlearn. That, that's what this particular sentence here reads. And the reason why I have it on the bottom is because this is where we begin it all. We begin on the bottom and work towards the top. Later in part two, we will use our knowledge and bring heaven to earth, to bring heaven to earth. Okay. Okay, and uh, below this enter to learn to unlearn, and the reason why I have that particular sentence there is that basically we know the truth because we are truly children having come from heaven, all of us, we uh, have brought with us knowledge from before, from before we were born. So we essentially know the truth. We've just been blinded by the traditions of the fathers, um, if you will. Um, and the idea is to unlearn these traditions that we've been taught so that we can understand truly what the truth is all about. Below this, below this particular sentence is another one, and it reads, true magic miracles are founded upon the scientific method of intent. And the reason why I have that there is because uh, I do not want to frighten people in this new way of thinking but I want them to understand that everything that Jesus did, even though we see it as magic or miracles, is simply based on natural law. So it is also, in other words, if you will, based upon or founded upon the scientific method of intent. If we intend to do anything, eventually it will get done, if our intent is that. Uh, sincere and that serious. So no matter what it is, if you put your mind to anything, you'll eventually get whatever you're focused on done. So let me go ahead and just go ahead and read to you these first seven phases that's written here in the synopsis. Ten Malkut, which is the business card, E equals MC square. Uh, Wayne Hiram, psychoatomologist, helping people find their way into the new millennium. The business card that briefly describes psychoatomology and a poem composed by yours truly. Okay, so that was the business card. That this is the business card that I'm that I've. Uh, explained earlier, uh, which was to get people thinking. Uh, my desire for do, to, in doing this was to, if I can get enough people, and I've gave, given out 2,000 of these cards, and, and if, I, if I can get enough people uh, 
interested in this new concept. You see, my belief is that, well, you'll, you'll see later, that when you have enough people in a particular direction, uh, in, in striving to do something, that something will get done the more people you have helping you to do it. And so that was my desire in creating uh, these 2,000 business cards and passing it out to people. On the reverse side of this card, it read, um, it reads, uh, Psychotum, well, I do not make any more cards. Um, and, but in the reverse side of this card, it reads, Psychoatomology uh, is the science of the new millennium. In its full definition, it is the interconnectedness of mind and matter. Candidates of the new millennium know that they are psychoatomic. For more information, let the spirit guide you. Uh, and I did not put an address on it or a phone number simply because I wanted people to be guided to me by the spirit and not by their brains, but by the spirit. Uh, I did not find it, I, I do not like to talk to people who are simply and merely interested. I want to talk to people who are truly desirous in knowing the truth. Uh, that way, you don't waste your time, nor your energy. Um, and the poem uh, I presented in part two. Um, I, uh, the next one is uh, number nine, Yesod, the theory of spontaneous transfer, the single page theory, a thought experiment on light and thought. Okay, and then number eight, going up the tree of life, uh, we have Hod, the theory of spontaneous tra transfer, the four-page question and answer attachment on the thought experiment on light and thought. Note all recipients are encouraged to read the scriptures as they approach them in the relevant phases or steps. And then number seven, Neza, the Psychological Diagram of the Tree of Life and the Ark of the Covenant Diagram, a description of the psyche from two ancient cultures. And later on I will present those, uh, the actual uh, number four, or phase four to you, which is uh, Sephira number seven, Neza. Uh, we go on now to phase uh, five, which is Sephira number six, Tiferet, a letter of invitation to be born again and to get back in touch with spirit and the still small voice or the light of Christ. Uh, and I will also present that to you in a, little, a little later. We go on now to number six, phase six, Sapphire number five, Gibura, a three-page handwritten letter of warning to the state and the nation. Are we allowing governments go too far in controlling our lives? Are we, des are we destroying liberty? Uh, and I will explain as we go on. Uh, when we reach that particular phase, I will explain a little bit uh, about it. Okay, now the last phase for this particular presentation is phase seven, which is Sapphire number four, Hesed, or Mercy which is from the theory of relativity to the realm of pure thought, an in-depth description of light and matter. So these are, these are the seven phases that I'll be presenting to you. <coughs> so let's go ahead now and uh, uh, present the phases to you at this time. Phase one, your desire for further light and knowledge have brought you to this present moment and time. Phase two, 